Motion to approve the agenda for July 2nd. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for June 25th, 2024. And I'll second that. Any discussion? Not all in favor? Aye. Aye. Meetings attended, please. Um, had a conservation meeting yesterday. Um, had a lot of people show up because there was some talk about the Snidely Access Road. Um, the conservation board had talked about options of closing it in the winter, for possibly um, after a review with the um, attorney. I guess there's no liability there if somebody happened to get into an accident. So they're going to go ahead and leave it open. They voted on that. Um, the rest is just kind of business as usual. The only other major thing is the bench that was put at Tickpin Park. Um, there was some controversy on the plaque that was put on the bench and the person is going to remove the bench and put it somewhere else. So we now have a um, rule, I guess, for memorials that will say just a certain thing or if it's money, we would like to have all the benches uniform in design for memorial benches so they do have that in place now so um last week i attended a meeting for um downtown wapalo they're looking into a downtown main street grant um they need eight buildings downtown and they're gonna do a matching grant if they get eight buildings up to six hundred and fifty thousand dollars so um it's a great thing for a small town. I'd like to see some other small towns try to go for that. Columbus Junction or Morning Sun. Um, it redoes, redoes, redoes the facades on the building. So it looks like Wapolo is going to move forward on that. That's all I had. Okay, I, I had no meetings. Um, I do have a bit of update from two rivers that the rivers are kind of getting higher than what was predicted a week ago and then everybody's kind of waiting to see what happens in the next 48 hours. You know, water's going over the spillway at Tools Barrow going into the lake. Um, the conservation did put letters out yesterday at Snively Access and for them all to get out. They had till today to get out. So are they breaking the electrical? Hook? Yes, they're doing that today. They're calling all the electrical posts today. So, is it going over now, or it's not predicted to it go? It was over eight over. inches away from going over yesterday at three o'clock. My assumption is it's probably, probably there right, right now, yeah. and I heard two feet higher. And right now, yeah. the, by so there'll be a lot of water coming into the lake. So. Yeah, by these it has it going over about Thursday and yeah. by a foot or something. Yeah, and we got more rain coming. So yeah, somebody said three inches tonight for us. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anything else, please? No, that's it. We just um, more, we, more rain. we had a. Uh, just a couple employee reviews and, and uh, everything's good. Um, I didn't come over to the meeting. I wanted everybody to hear the attendance with the call last week. So I think that was good. Um, and that's, um, yeah, I did hear on that road closure. Also, too, I had a couple people call. And uh, so, yeah, it's all good on that. It's all taken care of. Yep. Well, okay. there were probably, I don't know, 20, 25 people at the meeting. Because of the camp yeah, out. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's okay. Yep, good. Okay, public comments.
Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. You guys should all have a copy of this parcel. It was brought to my attention by Jennifer in the assessor's office. It had had no value on it because it's part of the river now. <laughs> but in 2022, it got value put back on it somehow and has taxes on it. And it's, as you can see by the picture, it is in the river. So I just need to get those taxes abated for that year. They've marked it again for next year to have no value, so it won't be taxed again. But yeah, I they said we really can't tax property that's in the river. Oh, the dangers of owning an island. <laughs> kind of, yeah. First so that that's all I'm here for, but it's like oh. I think it's twenty-eight dollars. It's what it was when it was. Yeah, fourteen dollars each half, so twenty eight bucks. Which one would you guys get a chance? Uh, four, four bucks is this that in order? <laughs> uh, let's see. Is this up around Columbus Junction, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, I'm looking. It's uh, let's see. I got my legal uh, expert over here that does legal description of these here. Section twenty eight. So it's at Columbus. What's that? Well, right now, uh, Hawthorne Redinger owns it, but we can't get a hold of him. We, the assessor's office has tried numerous times to get a hold of him. Everything comes back to him, so we're not sure if he's still around or how where does, he is. How did this get found? I'm not sure how Jennifer found it. She was doing, I think they were working in that area yeah. possibly and going through parcels and just happened to find it Across on the map it. and saw that that was, yeah. Interesting. And that there were taxes owing on it. So. Weird. I'll make a motion to abate the taxes uh, on parcel 03284520000. We'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Breaking up forward now. No problem. Anything else? Nope, that was my only thing okay. today. Yeah, sure. So if the water goes back down and the island comes back, is it his island? I would assume. <laughs> I, I don't know because they didn't really take it out of his name. They're just kind of removing huh. the volume. Yeah. So I'm assuming if the water goes back down, it's still going to be in his name. <laughs> So if it gets to be land again, I assume they'll, they'll I don't know. Island's out of my realm. It's weird. Do somebody else's weird yeah. project. Yeah. Feels that you're part of the river. Could you fish it how you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> you were talking things I don't know the answers to. Probably, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. <laughs> well, I had to ask. Brandon, you're the uh, it's, it's a request for the opioid settlement funds okay. to use to get another scanner. Now, this one would be to use for the drug task force, so those guys can put it in their vehicle, take it to the search warrants, or whatever they're doing in Mount Petunium Cedar, Eliza. Um, we use ours all the time for any type of drug that comes in. You scan it. It... It's just, uh, Thanks. it's expensive, but we're not really using any of those funds because we could barely use anything for those funds except stuff like this. So this is for them to have, take the search warrants. They don't have to handle the drugs, test the drugs. They can just pick up the baggie, and scan it, tell it's exactly what it is or what it's not. Uh, a lot safer for them. And, and Norcross goes up with those guys, so he's part of it too. And then the other purchase would be for fentanyl resistant gloves, meaning we're searching things or searching persons. We find drugs, searching vehicles, houses uh, that will resist fentanyl or sell. You can hold fentanyl for several hours and it won't go through that glove and have to endanger the person uh, searching. That's a lot of gloves and it, it will last us several years and we can share with other departments too in the county. But well, the cases are up for people with emergency personnel. Yeah, absolutely. It's still going on. We're just not seeing as much in the news. It's still, it's still happening all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. 
County. Oh, we've had a fentanyl death in Eliza County, and we had a car fentanyl death in Eliza County as well. No. Um, do these? I see our our balance in the opiate settlement is eighty six thousand. Do those funds ever expire? No, I think so. it's not it's it's there, there. For the last five years, they just. Yeah, I think you you keep getting more every year. You just draw you, on it, and there's more. I think there's more settlements happening. Too. Okay, so it's a separate bank account. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. But six or eight years ago, we didn't hear about it. We didn't know about it. Ever. So apparently, any money that we spend has to be opioid related. Yeah, and it, type. it's a long list, but very tight. Like if I want to, if I want to go get a canine, it can snap that bottle. You can't get a canine. That uh, makes no sense. No. What do you need? Is oh, you need safety right testing, testing stuff. Um, if you want to get a drug counselor for the county, you could use that for their wages. But there's very restrictive things mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, I see in the paper one county tried to use it for their EMS. And kind of EMS overtime. There's all kinds of stuff people are trying, and but it didn't work. It's not. Adam doesn't think we should do that. That's good. Yeah. It's you want to move? Purpose, and it's for a good purpose. Yeah, it's a it's a very high tech machine. I mean, we just I had a pill the other day. We held it to the pill and it told us exactly what the pill is. I mean, it's pretty much the hundreds of different drug items. So you just tell it, it, it's baking soda. This is baking soda. It's not drugs. So yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's almost immediate convulsions once you touch it. I mean, it's you're you're gone. It is. You get it. You get it in your nose and mouth. You're yeah. gonna you're gonna yeah. fall to the ground pretty hard. Real quick, whatever. And that's firemen coming and working on somebody. There's no evidence of stuff. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why we carry all the Narcan that we do. But it's bad stuff. You want to move on to number 10? I need a motion. Well, I'm going to make a motion that we uh, grant Brandon his request for the opioid settlement funding. Okay, I'll second that. Any discussion? Guys, you're doing very good. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Yep. Get rid of that stuff. Aye. I don't think how do we want to do? How do we want to take it from that fund? We want to do it the right. I've already got a got a transfer that I'll take over to Vicky. Then just I'll get the invoices. We'll just do a direct check instead of putting it to another you'll account. Do claim. Yeah, you'll do the claim. Same as normal. Okay. So last time we put it, we used. The checking account for the reserves. Do you want to do that, or do you want to do a direct check to the to the company? Well, there will have to be a claim to the company. So, I think okay. a claim would be the safest, wouldn't it? The be most because we're putting it into the opioid fund, and then you'll make the claim out. Yeah, but we could just do a claim for. The actual account itself, if it's separate, right? Instead of going through two different accounts. Let me look and see right? how you do I'm it. Thinking okay. about this, right? I have to transfer it for the, for the bank, part, bank account part. I have to transfer it out of the opioid account to the main account. And then this is how it normally goes. And okay. when it gives me the claims, and I transfer it from the main account to the auditor's claim so that when the claims are clear, I think the claims the paper trail that we have to have. Right? That's the way it is for most things. That's the paper trail, but that would be. Selena. I'll look at the way you do yeah, it. Okay. I made the motion to so the first one. The standard the is 29000 in the the gloves, which is 10000 sets, is $2,400. And it should last us. We have a paper that shows us. Yeah, but what did the motion? How much was Brad? So I mean, it was twenty nine thousand. It could have been open amount, you know, so without an amount in there. Twenty nine thousand five thirty three for the scanner and twenty four hundred. It's so, it's, it's, kind of, it's the same technology the lab uses. It's it's just our track, pretty much. You think yeah, they have, have the amount in there? Pretty mean. Yeah. It's a, probably a question that Jim would ask after the meeting, and it would be in the yeah. paper. Well, I know that it, yeah. it, it should be it's open how much it is. Well, Chris, yeah. just, you just don't make a motion. For so much. You make a motion for how much it is, not for oh, oh, wide open. Well, we're hiding and sweeping it under the huh? floor. It didn't say that. You did. Let's <laughs> continue. Moving right along, right? 
Uh, I didn't see any payroll children. You got anything else? There are no, I'm good. Well, I'll get with Slim. Get all take care of them. Yeah, Brandon, all of them today. Nobody into the bar yet? Nobody wrecked into the bar yet? Not yet. Not yet. Right. You got that food sign out there. I think that's still cool. rolling. I haven't been down there. Okay. I, I sort of heard it. All right. Says, is it rolling? Is it rolling? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yesterday. Solar panels. Yeah. Rolling. I was under speed limit. <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate Thank you. It. See you later. See you, Brandon. Yeah. Couple payroll changes there. Hey, Sean, would you sign that, please? Sure. This is the one I was doing. Nope. Hold it out. This is the key component. Yeah. 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 I'm going to do three separate ones just in case somebody has an objection to somebody. Um, I'll go down the list. Um, um, I would make a motion to approve the fireworks display permit for Becky Usler on this junction. I'm we'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? What days is that? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, July 3rd through the 8th. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. I'll make a motion to approve the fireworks limit for the Grandview Community Club. Uh, looks like July 4th, 9 to 10. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And lastly, Jason McConaughey, fireworks display permit for July 5th, 9.30 to 10. We'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All, right. All three motions passed. So fast. Let's go ahead and do. Um, oh, okay, that's fine. Got a uh, number 11, please. <clears throat> Morning. 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 I don't have any paperwork on that, but um, we I, did, it did yes. come up at our I have the uh, resolution. Okay. It was up at our meeting yesterday. Let's you explain it. Okay. Is that the transfer? That's the one I had yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I already signed it. I yeah. know. I'm just, I need to. That was sure. that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I will make a motion. Um, Being, you're, you're on the board. I was going to make the motion. Okay, that's fine. You you just, explain. explain the sixty thousand. Okay. So, um, this is all the funds that the con the conservation. Well, Jacob's here. Yeah. Let the director do it. Why am I doing it? So as we create revenue in the year through camping, EE, land rent, all those stuff, um, Iowa Code 350.6 says that we will 
annually put that money back into what we call a land acquisition and capital improvements fund to help us better the parks. Um, it is basically incentive for us to continue to do what we do and make money and make our stuff better. Because if not, you know, we're at, um, you know, not very much, we all know. So it's really, really valuable to us. This is how we read it in bluffs. It's how any sort of land that we get, not every sort, but it's a great source of funding for us to do projects that require a bit more than just, you know, maintenance on a vehicle, you know, put a new board on a picnic table. Um, their projects that actually like we, we gotta hire this out. So um this is what I got this year was I can't remember those numbers, just 39. I'll, I'll, I'll read you them. You can read the numbers. Yeah. Um land rent from crop ground ag agreements is twenty one thousand five hundred and eighty three dollars and ten cents. And income from camping, environmental education, shelter, land wood, equipment rentals is thirty nine thousand. $293.62 with a grand total of $60,876.72. Correct. Yes. So if, I mean, I, yeah, that's all I got really. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You'll use that to like make the ground that we bought out west mm -hmm. here. The, the maybe is payment back to the county. Yeah. Yes. That's, yep. That's, that's part of the land acquisition mm -hmm. part of that. Yeah. And capital improvements. Right. Yes. All right. I'll make a motion that we um, give the per code 315.6 to the Conservation Land Acquisition Fund at an amount of $60,876.72. I will second that. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. 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 Morning, Adam. Morning. Sure. So, um, since last week we talked, we've uh, done a little more ditching um, down by the gate, at the Millen County line over by the right Henry County line. Uh, just uh, digging out some dishes to make sure water flows where it's supposed to flow. Uh, most of the dirt being placed up on. On other roads, you try to break raise them up a, a, a little bit there. Also, a little bit cheaper for us when we do it that way. It's not falling in there everywhere. Also, with maybe a little less labor intensive, you don't have to haul as far. So, uh, work on that. Um, got rained out a couple of days last week, so we went down on uh, F Avenue, um, south of the power plant, and dropped in another. Culvert to help water get across the road a, a little bit better. Um, was water exist. coming up at that time? Was there not water at that time. Ditch? Not at that time. So there, there's existing, there's two existing concrete culverts across F Avenue. Um, one of them goes across and then has to go through a private driveway and it just doesn't carry the cold water. So we put in a second one there. Um, went out there yesterday morning to check things and there's water coming through the ground and, and, and some area there. Uh, not nothing too bad yet, but I'm guessing if this holds up for a couple weeks to two months, it's gonna get like a little, it's gonna get water in there. Looking like 21 foot on Mississippi, which is 19, it was 24. So you know few feet to go before we get that big amount of water. But we do have pipes in there now and it should be better. Than it was, but not perfect, obviously. Because then, kind of got water here and, and land here, it's going to come down and come back up, but all that. But we have made improvements, but as everybody knows, that's a long process out there. So, um, doing that, uh, been, been checking uh, roads down by Oakville and Delmar Holtz and all that. It was kind of interesting last 
in May, the river got 21, 22, and we had water across that talks and marbles and all that. But we're at those same elevations now, but we haven't had the rain, local rain. So I assume if we get some local rain, it's going to, though there's going to be under, under, underwater. Um, you know, so anytime the Mississippi's up, backs up the Iowa, it backs up all of our drainage ditches and just kind of creates a situation where when you get a big rain, it, it more like it's flooded here and there. Can't do nowhere. Uh, right, right. You can't really do anything about it uh, uh, ahead of time, right? Because you don't know when or where it's going to fall and how much. So we'll just have to deal deal with it when it happens. So uh, other than that, uh, and about the budget year, made sure that we got our seventy thousand tons of rock down. So we we did did get that done and. Going to work on next year's uh, or this year's rock calls starting today, so we can work on that. Um, the bypass, the detour um, on H twenty two K road, um, Blue Flame is supposed to spray that this this week, so we're going to get some rock all out there and get get it cupped up. There will be a temporary stop sign corner of 30th and 123rd. Um, just uh, if we have more traffic there and more things, we just want people to stop. Hopefully, this is just a month or two. So, so that'll be a four way intersection. Yep, yep. Yep. So, and it's, you know, it's that's an intersection prone to if people wanted to drive through it, it could cause some problems there. So, so. Um, my understanding of this project that, that this is just culverts and grading on H22, and they will have to come back in a couple of years and do paving now. So they will we'll have to go have to go through this again in a couple of years. But that's a different project, and I believe this earth moving project is supposed to last another couple couple of years. So anyway, we're road construction is not done in the So. Um, other than that, uh, not, not going to have a lot of staff around with all the holidays and, and all, all that stuff. So, um, um, any questions for me? Anything going on out there? Are they going to dust treat 123rd and 30th? Yeah, yeah. I know they'd already done Des Moines County. Yeah, what happened this week? Um, looks like it's supposed to do it Monday, but with the rain, they help a lot. We'll leave tomorrow. Is it? No, I don't think there's one. Mm -hmm. Believe tomorrow the answer is some. And let's be able to rain, and then it'll be next next uh, Monday. So. Right. Other than that, um, I, I don't know a lot. I'm, I'm going to be gone a little bit here, so for vacation and the uh, uh, the mid year engineers conference next week as well. So that uh, so. And after that, I'll be going for vacation for weeks. So, uh, and I don't know. I went to scout camp on Friday, so I missed, missed, uh, missed that out. So. It wasn't hot enough for scout camp. Uh, we rained on a moose, plenty more on Saturday. So, anyway, um, any questions for me? Anything else? Yeah, G44X down there where, they, um, where the old pavement used to stop. You remember that where it stopped on uh, coming in there where it turned to gravel by Curry's just down from there. There's a bunch of uh, uh, cattails. Is that going to impede any of the water exiting that area? Because I know we get a lot of water crossing right um, there. Probably the cabins, that's where the pavement, I don't remember that. Wait, G44X G cabins? Yeah, right off the right. They're coming by Curry's where they bypass the road around the levee. That used to come right there. All that area goes to the drainage ditches, all full of cattails. I was down there the other day. Just like oh, that. you mean uh, X61? X61. Okay. Yeah. Something you said something different. No. I think it's a G44. Yeah. And it could have been X61. Okay. Yeah. X X61. It is. I mean, I think that the the thing that slows it down is that there's a bunch of culvert there that, that, that impedes it more. Than, than the grass. Um, we also up, upgraded the 
bigger, bigger pull forward. So if it gets to be an issue, we can always go with our ex excavator and figure it's it out. Really good with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see it cross that road again. Hopefully not. I mean, we, we we had some high high water last year, and it didn't it didn't get across the road. So we're open. But if if it if it lingers, it comes put some guys down there with the hoe and get it out a little bit. So yeah, it looks like you're not really seeing it. No, not sure. Well, I, I I thought about you know at, at some point uh, excavating out below and rock lining that, but you know it's thousands of dollars, but maybe it'll be worth it. Worth it. That's something I guess. Anything else? Yeah. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. I'll give you this. Yeah, that's best. Yeah. Thank you. Follow up on this stuff. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. We got the. Uh, we have an MOU over there for. Uh, mental health issues. Uh, okay. No, it's not what you are Is that what you are Yeah. Program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, more stuff. I'm interested in telling it today. Dr. Gary's old hand and grenades are mine. Boom, boom. I jump on for you to pull you up. I got 10 balls. I guess go to three. Five. I'll sign you. Thank you, sir. I was scouting. Seen the picture. That's good. Is that fun? Yeah, that's good. Or is it too? You do. I've heard you. Yeah. How, how good we can do it. I don't know why they're closing that down. They're not going to work after the day, and they're not coming back until Monday. 
You mean the K, K road? That's bad. Look, they all closed down the next month. Though. I'm not saying today. No, no, that no next day. day. Makes sense. I thought there's going to be a little day, and I said, man, we are. A lot of traffic down that road. Yeah. On the market traffic. Shoot, I don't go to get here next Tuesday. Run a blind. Okay, don't give me an helicopter. <laughs> I don't know, I must know it for two weeks. I mean, I have some questions on number two. I believe it was on there. On oh, number 12, I'm sorry. Yeah. So um, is this a reimbursement back to us for sending the wages? It says reimbursement. From mental health, yeah, yes, back to yes. us you know, for her part of her way using stuff. Yeah, we received that from the state, and then the office space. Yes. Okay. All right. Do you want to entertain a motion, Brad? Sure. I'll make a motion um, to review and sign the memorandum of understanding for the mental health agency reimbursement. Of Southeast Iowa. It was a total reimbursement for that long as so from what I understand, it looks like um wages, FICA, and IPERS for Sydney, it's 40%. Um I don't I don't I can add them up if no, you that's good. do 19000 and some odd dollars for wages, fourteen hundred dollars for FICA, eighteen hundred for IPERS. And then they're reimbursing 40% of our square footage for office space, which comes to $784. So total $23,000, shy of $25,000 ish. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'll second that. Any more discussion? All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Okay. Oh, that is me to tell you I want to I'm going to appoint Susan Snedder as Oliver First Deputy Effective 7 1, and she will be taking a pay cut. You'll see that on there. Yeah, so she, a she, yeah, so. he's been a clerk and do. Yeah. They're old. I'll make that motion. Do we just do anything on that? Do we need a motion on that? No. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, you know, it's, it's, okay. Begin with that. Yes, if she wanted to be first deputy, that's 85% of my wages. So she goes from 62, 213, 54, 670. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of these out there, you know? Yeah, uh, Sean's going yeah, to have Okay, then we have. Um, 
claims. So initial domain copy. Jim is ready for this number. Yeah, go ahead. It's 413-424.55. John and they're working real fast right on IT stuff over here. Uh, um, oh, mm -hmm. Are they still in Ottawa? Like Ottawa? Or Ottawa? Or Ottawa? Or Ottawa? Or Ottawa? I don't know. He hasn't explained much. Are they working? Yeah, they read and we can, we can call out. That's about all I can tell you at this point. It seems yeah. you're we, pretty late. We, we uh, don't have all the functionality um, okay. explained to us yet, but. It's a slow process. We'll get there. Yeah, it was like seven thirty, almost eight o'clock, and the buyer he was still here. Okay. Yeah, and there's yeah. been some hiccups with the traffic, but you always have that thing switch. And there's a lot of lot of work off coming to phones too. We had uh, changed several phones from DPC and it took because there's so much stuff you can do forward calls and changing. Yeah, not anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll make a motion to accept the claims. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. The last door of business, I'll make the motion to adjourn. Second. Journal. Everybody have a safe fourth. Bye, everybody. See you later. Thank you. See you, Jim. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you. See you. See you. Hey, guys, take care. Have a good morning.